Hello world, I'm Stormbit and we are playing Cyberpunk 2077. As usual, there are chapter markers in the description to help you navigate this video. Okay, so I just stumbled upon the perk menu. The, the menu system here is pretty deep and expansive. I, I'm gonna have to take some time to explore all of this, but we've got four perks to choose from under cool. Oh, and then three more under the cold blood. Uh, man, holy crap. Because then there's also intelligence and then quick hacking. Technical Ability, Crafting, Engineering, Under Reflexes, Assault, Handguns, and Blades, and Body, Athletics, and uh, Annihilation, and Street Brawler. Holy crap. There's just... I don't even know where to start. I, I guess we're going the stealth way, because I have all of my... all like the most attribute points in cool. But is that the thing that I want right now? Let's see. Increase movement speed while sneaking. That would be helpful. Increase damage... Dealt by silence weapons. I don't have any silence weapons right now though. Allows you to perform non-lethal aerial takedowns. I think that's just highly situational. And I don't have any throwing knives. Uh, increases all resistances by 2.5% stack of cold blood. Okay, that stacks twice. Oh, but maybe it's like every perk in cold blood? After defeating an enemy, gain cold blood for 10 seconds. Oh, what is... Th oh, it, cold blood is a thing. Like, what does that mean? Oh, it's this. Oh, it's like the same name as the category. That's confusing. And increase movement speed by 2%. Stacks up to one time. Reduces weapon recoil by 2.5% per stack of cold blood. Unlocks a mass vulnerability daemon, which reduces the physical resistance for all enemies in the network by 30% for three, three minutes. Holy crap. Oh, it's a passive. Uh, unlocks the big sleep daemon, which it disables all cameras in the network for three minutes. Increases the breach time for breach protocol by 20%. Advanced data mine. Upgrades the data mine daemon, increasing the amount of euro dollars acquired from access points by 50%. I feel like this is a good one to get early on, because then the more uh, access points points there's more access points at the very beginning that you get with the skill on if you get it early on right so i feel like that might be the one i go for i don't know how important money is here but i have a feeling it's pretty important okay quick hacking bloodware quick hacks deal 10 percent more damage unlocking crafting specs for uncommon quick hacks allows ram to recover during combat oh that's kind of nice Eliminating a target affected by a quick hack instantly recovers one RAM unit. Reveals an enemy netrunner when they're attempting to hack you. Dang! So they do try to hack you. Okay, yeah, we're gonna go with the advanced data mine. And maybe I should have looked at the stuff around it, but I think that's a good one to get early. That way we get more money and uh, more things to buy stuff with. I mean, it kind of makes sense with the corpo uh, sort of uh, life path, right? Uh, we, I think we were in the intelligence part of Arasaka. So that kind of makes sense. Let's um, get some cash. 